How's it going, fam? Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we're going to do a review of the Spyderco Para 3 all over again. Why? Because I think testing is really warped in this community for the most part, and people will, like, review an unused knife once, and then that's it. And, like, those are really the only types of reviews you can find on YouTube, <laughs> unless you really go digging. So, even though I've already reviewed this and consecutively tested it, uh, we're gonna do it all over again because I think that it's cool to also test different steels on the same knife, and sometimes your opinions change, so we're going to review the pair three all over again. So the first one that I did was a while ago, and that was a KnifeJoy exclusive S35 VN Spider Co. Pair 3. So it had the brown G10 scales, black blade, and it was S35 VN. This one is S45 VN, and it's completely blacked out, and it does have a lynch clip on it. And the reason I wanted to review this again is because I carried it for the whole month of December. We're just about to, you know, come up on the last days of December. And I really, I have to say, Spyderco's S45VN is just one of the best steels I've ever used for EDC knives. And I feel like the introduction of MagnaCut has literally just completely taken over everyone's minds and companies are already, you know, using it, putting it into production, um, especially, you know, Spyderco's taking their time with it, which is awesome because they want to do it right. But all of these other knife steels are just flying under the radar now and everyone thinks they're kind of like outdated and um, nobody has interest in them anymore. Nobody's really even testing them. Everyone wants to talk about M390 and MagnaCut. So um, this S45VN is absolutely incredible. I just sharpened this last night for the first time. Like I said, I used it all of December. I sharpened it for the first time last night, and it held an edge for that whole month, and I did some really gnarly shit with this. This is the knife that I cut the uh, rigid foam, foam board with for that patch job on my roof. Um, it has done dog food prep, it has opened packages and cut boxes and rope and paracord and plastic and wood. It has done everything this month. Like, this thing has been really put through the paces. And, um, you know, I have nothing really new to say about the model, but... I do believe that when you throw S45VN onto the Para 3, it's the best iteration of this knife that I have used. And I've used a lot of Para 3s. You know, I tested the Knife Joy exclusive one. I've had the, the lightweights. I've had Spy 27 lightweight Para 3s and Rex 45 and, you know, all of these different flavors of steel. But as a whole... The Para 3 with S45VN is my favorite version of this knife so far because it's really interesting how, like, the human brain works. Like, if there's something off about a product or anything, we'll start to nitpick and find a lot of things wrong with it, and we can even convince ourselves that we don't really like it anymore. Like, it's it's really interesting how... Uh, how that works, but if you have the perfect chemistry and combination of characteristics, it can literally change your mind all over again. So, like, for me, I didn't like the pair three at first for a whole bunch of reasons, and I have videos on that, but then I wanted to revisit it because everyone asked me to, and upon revisiting it, I ended up really liking it because the S35 was you know, good to me. I actually really liked that steel. I liked how Spyderco heat treated it, and I really liked how it took an edge. Um, I do recall saying that I thought maybe, like, the steel was a little glassy. Uh, I tend to like toothier steels, tool steels, so I do remember in my Para 3 testing that um, I, I, I wished that it kept a little bit of a toothier edge, but it was pretty good. But I, I, I also remember, you know, looking at it at the end of the month and thinking, you know, 
I probably don't need this knife. I really like it, but the hump is kind of weird, and I had to change the pocket clip on it, and, you know, the S35 is great, but it's a little glassy compared to what I'm used to, and I ended up selling it. But then this one came through, and because it's perfect, I am, like, in love with the pair of three all over again. And some things that bothered me beforehand about it just, I don't even care. I am so in love with this particular pair of three. Things that bothered me before, don't even notice them now. Uh, the only re reason I changed the clip to the blacksmith one from Lynch Northwest was because I wanted to test this. But I actually didn't even, I didn't even mind the stock clip on this, really. Uh, it normally drives me nuts. But I think because I love this S45, I was like, you know what? This is just the ultimate package for me. It's perfect. And this steel keeps an edge for so long. It's insane, guys. This S45 is incredible. And if you are thinking, like, well, I don't really like S45. You know, I've used, um... Chris Reeve S45, and it, it left me, you know, kind of wanting more. Um, it seemed a little glassy. I can probably guarantee you that Spyderco treats their S45 harder than Chris Reeve. And look at this blade ge geometry in comparison to, like, a Sebenza or something, right? If you took a Sebenza in S45, which I have here, if you take a Sebenza in S45, it's just not going to cut the same as the pair of three because the geometry is pretty darn different. Uh, we do have a nice hollow grind and drop point on this Sebenza. We do. But it's just, it's a different geometry and it's a different cutting experience in comparison to the more flat, thin pair of three that is full flat ground. You know, this is a little... It feels a little thicker when you're using it, but with the full flat grind of the pair of three, the S45 VN just feels different, and like I said, I'm pretty sure it's harder from Spyderco. So, just, um, I don't want these steels to get forgotten, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's gonna be all excited and stoked about... Uh, models that have magna cut and I totally get it. It's a very intriguing steel. I have experience with it and I like it But I just like people are so quick to jump on the train to the next thing And it's like we still have some really good products, right? Like this is one of the best EDC knives I've ever used especially with this blade steel I can highly, highly, highly recommend this. The sharpening experience is phenomenal. The feedback you get with this steel on the stones is really good. So, like, if you're, you know, learning to sharpen, you're a beginning sharpener, and you're looking for a steel that gives you feedback so that you can learn how to sharpen, this is a great one, you know? Like, a pair of three in Maximit is kind of hard to start with for some people because the feedback is really tricky. It's a tricky steel to move. Um, but S45, it burrs up very quickly. You can see very clearly the scratch pattern. So if you are the type of person that wants to work on um, your edge bevels and work on moving your scratch pattern finer and finer, maybe learning how to mirror polish, uh, trying to get that very continuous all the way through. S45 is a great steel to work with because it's it's a very clean steel. It's really easy to create a scratch pattern and then move on to the next stone and erase it and make a finer and finer and finer one and really be able to see with the naked eye what you're doing. Uh, that was one thing that was a little tricky for me with Maximit. I have a great time sharpening it now and it's one of my favorite steels, but it's just harder to work with especially for beginners, than this. And this holds an edge incredibly well. And it you can you you can leave it toothy at 600 or you can bring it up to 8,000 like this and polish it and it's still razor, razor sharp. It's just a really, really nice steel. Come on. Focus. Oh, she doesn't want to focus. But it's, it's a really nice steel. I highly recommend it to any user, any hobbyist, 
anybody that um, is getting into sharpening and using their knives, the whole model is just absolutely incredible. Extremely ergonomic. If you do not like um, the kind of bulkier handles, some people say, there are so many skinny options for handle scales that you can get tons and tons of options where they have kind of cut out that hump and it's just a nice skinny version. Really generous lanyard hole. You can put the pocket clip anywhere you want. There are really nice aftermarket clips like this Lynch Northwest clip specifically made for the pair of three. Notice how there's a cutout right here so that you can still access your lanyard hole. Uh, this clip is also way shorter than the stock clip, which some people like. The G10 is not too rough, but not s super smooth either. Compression lock is a really great, strong, reliable locking mechanism with ease of access. The, the blade shape is just perfect for all EDC tasks, as long as you're not necessarily prying with that thin tip. But it the geometry lends it to cut really, really well. The coating holds up really nicely. I tried to get this coating to come off and it just kind of wouldn't. Like I, I did a lot of really corrosive tasks and abrasive tasks trying to get this to come off and it just won't. It has faded a little bit. I will say that you can see that it's kind of faded. I, I did wash this with soap and water and some cleaner and you can just see that that's not metal particles or debris or anything. That's just pure fading of that coating because I really did a lot of hard work with it. But this model is just absolutely incredible. And like I said, when you get the right flavor of steel that you like, sometimes it can change your whole mindset on the model itself. If it's, if it's performing the way you want it to. Like sometimes we take performance and we put it, we will label a knife as not good or not our type because it's not performing correctly. But if you think about it, a knife is a tool, it's a cutting tool. So the performance should only really be based on the cutting. Like, yes, you want it to be ergonomic and comfortable for you, of course, and like have no faulty parts, but the knife is meant to cut. And if you're not having a good cutting experience with the knife, you may think that the whole thing sucks. You may think that the whole model is not for you. So just something to think about. That's why I like to revisit reviews sometimes and add little bits of information that I find along the way. I really don't believe in like reviewing a knife once and then never updating the information again, um, especially because we use the knives on the channel for a month before we even review them. And a lot of the reviews are like somebody opening it up, looking at it, flicking it open and then being like, let's do a full review. Uh, hard to find reviews of people actually using them for months on end and continuously adding in new information and new blade steel testing that they have done. So I really wanted to add this to the archive because I do feel that this S45 is um, better than the S35 that I had used prior in my review. I would definitely choose this S45 over the S35. I think this is an improvement. I think it takes a better toothier edge. I think it's, um, man, I don't know why we don't want to focus today. Please focus. I think this takes a better edge. I think it's going to be easier for people to sharpen if they're new to sharpening. I think it's equally as forgiving and tough as S35, but it's just, it, it is an improvement, absolutely. And I really hope that we don't see S45 disappearing because we have the introduction of MagnaCut and 15V, which is so exciting uh, coming from Spyderco. It is a, a very exciting time in the community um, especially with that 15V from Sean, but, um, yeah, let's just not forget the old boys that are still equally as good. But yeah, uh, there's a little bit of info, guys. Highly recommend this steel, especially if you're learning how to sharpen. I absolutely love this model. This is a keeper in the collection. I will see you guys on the next video. Go use your shit, learn how to sharpen your knives, watch real reviews, and I will see you on the next video. Love you all.